Hey Breezers, how are you guys? So Foodie Beauty is live right now. It's titled Just Bees and Come Chat and she just said, not therapy, I'm nervous. I'm going to check it out for a few minutes. I figure let's go ahead and watch together. Why are you nervous? So what do I say? You need help. What brings you here today? Well, it's over the phone, but what do you need therapy for? Uh, what What's the one pressing thing getting over this shit? I was just in a extremely abusive relationship for a year. That's what I'm going to say. And I would tell them you're also struggling with addiction problems. I would be very honest. Very honest. They can't help you if you're not honest. You know, I literally have... I was literally in one of those situations where like, I tell, I have to tell my therapist about you. But not in a cute way. In a fucking... like traumatized way mm -hmm. and no not just from that one threesome instance but yeah that did actually traumatize me like i he like he would ask me all the time to do things sexually i re it made, it gave me anxiety he pressured you and maybe that's why she had diarrhea too because she knew he was gonna ask us to do things i don't know i don't know i need i didn't need to hear that part though Showing up is the hardest part. Yeah, if you don't want to talk, it's true. I think it's Alyssa L. Roman, plain cheese. I don't see her. Did you block Alyssa? Just I block any stupid people, fuck. Well, you know what I mean. I, just kinda, I don't know what you mean. Just tell her how you're feeling and why you're there. Just think of it as one of these chats. Yeah. Well, yeah. You have to go and be completely open and honest, or going isn't going to do you any good. If you're lying and not talking about what's really going on and what you're really going through, how can they help you? I just got out of an extremely abusive relationship and I'm left traumatized. I keep ruminating over all the abuse. Yeah, ruminate. Yeah. It like won't. So here's how, here's exactly what it is. Okay. Like, I forget what I was going to say. Because I was thinking of, <laughs> I was reading the chat. Oh my God. So yeah. Okay. So okay. how it fucking is, is before, like even when I, you know how I would feel like when I would like. Before it was like a torture of feeling confused and wanting validation from him and loving him and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Now it's when I left him, I felt an immense amount of peace. Like when I said no to the apartments, when I just, just being away, I felt an immense amount of peace until recently. I don't believe you. Nothing about this whole situation and how you're behaving screams peaceful. No. And until maybe I you think felt relieved for Sorry, maybe you felt relieved. Maybe you could say that, but peaceful? Do you really feel peaceful if every single day, all day and all night we're talking about the same stuff? There's no way. Proof. It was like a nail in the coffin like, okay, this is the closure you needed and now that the closure's there, it fucking sucks. So bad. Like there's just so much emotions like none of them have really anything to do with wanting him honest mm -hmm. to god it's more of like pr just processing and realizing like as the fog wears off that everything that you've been through is not okay and i'm just like why like you know i'm i fucking hate everything right now like i'm so mad i'm just so mad and hurt grossed out that like he's just making pasta today like it's nothing like oh i abuse women and fucking make fun of sa and i'm you on can't expect him to have any sort of feeling towards it he's just a horrible human you have to ha you just have to move on and have no expectations of how he's gonna act or behave or what he's gonna do you can't control it you can't we've all seen now how he really is I think YouTube, him being on a platform and all these videos about him, hopefully that serves as a warning to the next person. I hope so. 
And, you know, this, this case that he has against him, maybe that'll get him away from others for good. Well, but hey, I'm gonna make pasta. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's so fucked. He doesn't care. And you can't change that. Oh, uh, and then her. Like, oh, they... Whenever she came into the picture, like, imagine, imagine, imagine going through abuse, physical, emotional, everything, financial, just giving him money for groceries, bringing over wine. He fucking drinks it with her on that live stream. Probably fucked her brains out that night. Probably. Do you, like, and you're probably thinking because you hate me. Ha ha, that's really funny. But for somebody, like, at the time, I remember how bad that hurt. Yeah. Like, and and even more because he's a narc piece of shit he didn't care at all so yeah I am just thinking ruminating as you say over everything and it's so much from day one you're right he was always a piece of shit he was a piece of shit yeah. who painted himself into like a ham colored turd that's all he was. Ham colored shit. Ham colored? Oh. Do you understand though? Like, you're not gonna feel any better until you go. I, I say this too much, but actually, maybe not enough because you're not listening. You have to go and talk to a professional who can help you and give you the tools on how to move forward and start healing. Doing, going on YouTube every single day, all day, and talking about it clearly is not helping you. It's not. It's time to go see somebody. You know, I just hate him so bad, and I just think it's not fair, and I'm just, like, going through all these steps. Yeah. For what? Like, what did I do, you know? It's just one of those things that I'm just pitying myself, like, why me? You know? Somewhat stiff. Remember for 14 months, I'm over here packing. But for therapy, please, please just give it time. Take comfort in knowing you're now in the right direction. Yeah. That's what I... Oh, yeah. So but you have somewhere. to go, Chantal. No more canceling. No more moving appointments. No more not showing up. You have to take this seriously or else this is going to destroy you. Destroy you completely. And you're going to lose everything you have obsessing over this. Stuff. Thank you. Ready, shit, read bees. Where are you packing? Where are you going? Can I come? Thank no. you. Agree to disagree. Let's bees. Fuck. Yeah, I know. I'm just. I appreciate you guys listening to me and all this shit because it's fucking hard, man. A lot of I us have been hard. there. So, a lot of us have been through what you've been through. But you know what we did? We got help, we reached out. We realized we couldn't do this on our own. We had to get some kind of a help, some kind of help. I know for me personally, I couldn't go through it alone. I had to talk to somebody. So do you. I'm having a hard time and I feel weak and stupid, you know? And I, ha and I feel I hate being vulnerable and crying about it because all people see, all people do is snatch that and think, oh, she's crying over that or again. You know, like, they don't even give a fuck. Like, this is just something... On a side note, that was going to be my title, Foodie Beauty Crying Over Nader Again. That's fucked with me so bad, and I'm so vulnerable about and it's just, I made it so public. So why don't you make your recovery public? Why don't we start a new journey? I'm so tired. It has to you be exhausting. You have to accept that he will never get punished enough. Or be sorry. He won't ever pay the price he should. You have to move on. I know. It's so hard to accept. You have to accept it, It's Brody. like you want justice. Or you, not just justice, but like... Yeah, like you just feel like, what the fuck? I've been there. I feel like I'm like... For me, my like things are just standing still. And the world is just moving fast. It's because you're stuck in that place all day, all night. You hardly go anywhere unless it's for food. Everybody else is living life, growing, learning, teaching. You're staying the same. 
It's time for a new journey, Chantal. It's time for a new journey. Yeah. Make this your time to heal. Take the time to work on yourself. Love yourself enough to get the help. And like, I'm just like afraid of something coming in and like shattering my fragile world, you know? Your world's been shattered. It's time to pick like, up the pieces. I've never had pieces. anxiety like this before, you know? In like, case bro. nobody heard me. <laughs> And in case you need to hear this, Chantal, your world is shattered. It's time to pick up the pieces. It's time. It's really bad. Sometimes. So, yeah, I'm glad I'm going to talk to them tomorrow. Maybe they can even refer me. Like, one therapist I talked to had a psychiatrist on board. So, I really need to prioritize my, you do. my brain, you know? You do. But even with that, I don't know what the proper treatment is, you know, like, I just feel like you always have to jump through hoops. I just have to be patient and just keep myself composed enough to get the proper help I need. I, I, but yeah, so much I wish I like nothing more for you, Chantal, than you to get the proper help you need and for you to change your life and live a beautiful life and have a story to tell somebody, hey, look, this is what it was like, but look at what I'm doing now. Look at how amazing things are now. I would love for you to be an inspiration. I would love this for you. But you have to realize it's not going to just fall into your lap. Like you have to put into the work. Growing, learning, changing isn't comfortable. It isn't. It's not supposed to be. You'll be uncomfortable for a little bit. And then guess what? You will be so happy, so happy that you made the effort to change. I'm on the right path. And it does help me, like, you know. But then whenever I, like, see him and I, like, even just picture it knowing he's doing something. Even even if he goes to jail, I'm going to have so much anxiety. Just the, the whole thing. Why? I'm having such a hard time with it. Why? Isn't that where he belongs? Isn't that what you wanted? Why would you have anxiety over it? I would take it as, okay, he's somewhere where he can't hurt anybody else. Let me work on me. Let me show people what I'm capable of. Oh, God. His behavior is horrible. And I know what you mean because he does blame me, like, in that kitchen. Lambo! Oh, yeah. Are people giving you shit? Okay, I'm gonna remove moderators, but if I do, I was thinking of getting moderators, plain mm -hmm. cheeseburgers, and like making the Holy Trinity flame. I don't know. I wait. Look. Question though, you must have a moderator because somebody deletes the comments for you that you don't like. I've seen comments get retracted as soon as they go up. So who who is really your moderator right now? If I ever do moderators again, even though the obvious answer would be Holy Trinity, I'm gonna ask people because. Moderating is not a fucking easy task, but I don't think I need moderators right now. You know, it's manageable. Like, I couldn't see Alyssa. Like, I don't know. I don't have a problem with Alyssa. I just don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I can't see it, so. If he, and if people say it's gross. <laughs> if he goes to jail, that has nothing to do with you. No, I know. It's not, it's not that it's going to have anything to do with me. Mm -hmm. It's not that. It's just any pain I'm feeling or mental it's just my mental health is bad like you cry oh, no i'm not amanda the random thank you we're just crying again lambo what would you guys do if you if a guy like him ever came near you <laughs> like in what would i do if a man like him ever came near me run run as fast as i could Public and asked you out, and you knew it, like how he was. What would you say? Would you kick him in the nerds? I wouldn't see. This is where we're different. I wouldn't have gave Nader the time of day. Nope, not one second of my time. No. How about you guys? I know for me, his energy, his vibe. You can just sense. I, if I can sense it through a screen, 
oh my gosh, imagine in person, like I wouldn't have given him a second look at the time of day. Nope. No, thank you. Mm -mm. No. And I don't know if this is helping or making it worse. Talking to a bunch of strangers on YouTube instead of going and talking to a professional is making things worse. You will blame me. She better not blame me to my face. I will punch her. I'm kidding. I don't think you're kidding. Punch her through the screen. <laughs> he robbed something from the woman he has abused and hurt. That was not his to take. The trauma is real, but don't lose hope. I guess I just don't understand trauma. Like, trauma is like a new term. Another fucking new term. Can we lay off the new terms and life lessons for a minute? Like trauma is not a new term. At least not to me. How about you guys? Where is that a new term? Like, narcissist. If I don't understand something, sure enough, I'm sure I'm going to learn the lesson the hard way. So you know what? I just, ignorance is bliss. This is, ignorance is bliss. Oh, brother. Anything that you're smoking, inhaling your lungs. <laughs> yeah, that for sure, I know. Who's Rambo? Rambo? You better not be making fun of Lambo. Kick her. You need cereal? Angry cinnamon cereal? Oh, cereal sounds so good right now, you guys. I might go have some cinnamon toast crunch. <laughs> I might go have... I, I actually, I am. I don't know. That sounds so good to me right now. What kind of cereal do you guys like? Okay, I think we'll check back in with her in a little bit. This was a lot. Um, remember, if this becomes too much for you, please, you can go ahead and skip videos. Take the day off. Take a week off if you need it. I promise I will be here when you get back. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are, and I will see you so soon. Bye.